How would you like to get my husband Gogan out of hot water? Believe me, he'll need all the help he can get to worm his way out of this one. To think he'd fall for the gang's scheme, ugh, I could kill him. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, and you look confused. Let me explain. The women in the gang use their wiles to lure men out to some remote location and rob them blind. It's been going on for some time now. The city guard hasn't done very much about it, because frankly, the men who are robbed are so embarrassed, they don't want to report it. Take, for example, that good-for-nothing husband of mine, Gogan. He cared more about their charms than my own. I swear that when I passed by Benner's Manor last night, I heard someone scream from inside. Bell and Benner's will never sell that death trap. That layabout? You can find him wasting time at the Count's arms. When Gogan was, um, with the women, they took something quite valuable from him. No, it's not what you're thinking. He was carrying a precious family heirloom with him when he was lured out to their lair. It was a small ring given to him on our wedding day. The ring belonged to my mother and has been in the family for generations. I'm willing to give you all the money I have to get it back. One hundred gold. Can you help us? Thank you. I'm afraid I can't offer you much help, but I'll do what I can. I hope the reward will suit the risk. It's all I have. What do you want? Talk to Malona. She runs the council. Judge, jury, and executioner. You should listen to him preach. He may sound crazy at first, but the longer you listen, the more sense he makes. Talk to her. She seems to have all the answers. What do you want? Talk to Malona. She runs the council. Judge, jury, and executioner. Talk to her. What can I help with? All I can tell you is that the best place to start is at the Flowing Bowl. It's a tavern located outside the city walls near the waterfront. Gogan may be able to give you more information beyond that. The flowing what do you want? I see, my wife couldn't keep a big mouth shut. Yes, it's true. I lost the family ring to those sirens. I'm ashamed about the whole incident, but not ashamed enough to ask for your help. I was sitting in the flowing bowl when the most fetching Nord woman you've ever seen walked in with an equally attractive Imperial woman following. After we exchanged words, I followed them out to a farmhouse. Inside, they asked me to remove my clothes and items. Well, I did. And then suddenly, they brandished weapons and robbed me. They sent me away with barely a stitch of clothing. Harlots. Just please, help me get that ring back. I want to save what's left of my marriage. I'm merely a man. How could I resist?
Greetings to you. What's going Talk to Faustina. She's got a proposition for you. I understand Daedra... Never seen you here before. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. And I'm sure you wouldn't mind making a little extra money. Hmm. I've put together a... Well, a gang. We make money by luring fools out to the middle of nowhere and robbing them blind. Our targets? Weak-willed men who are easily fooled into believing they will have their way with us. <laughs> oh, men are so gullible. I'll leave the decision up to you. If you want to join up, meet us at the Gwedden Farmhouse around 11 in the evening. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, and one more thing. If you breathe a word of this to the city guard, you won't live long enough to get whatever reward they're offering. Just to be perfectly clear, we're not prostitutes. We do everything on our own terms and the men never, ever lay one hand on us. The I see you decided to take us up on our offer. Good. We could use another gal in the gang. Here's how it works. We case the flowing bowl for a likely subject. Namely, we look for a married guy who drinks a lot. Then we'll send you in there where you charm the man and get him to come out to some location we pick to rob him. When he gets there, we make him take off all his clothes, which is very easy, by the way. While they're helpless, that's when we spring the trap. So far, we haven't had to draw one drop of blood. The best part of the whole thing is that the men are so embarrassed, they won't tell the guards. So, the bottom line is, you show a little skin, just a tease. No one touches you. What do you say? Well, that's never happened before. I suppose we'd have to kill you. I mean, we can't have you going back to Anvil and ruining the whole plan. But why say no when it's so much easier and more lucrative to say yes? Or are you here for something else? Damn, I knew it. You're working for the city guard, aren't you? I didn't think they would be stupid enough to send someone alone. But so be it. I should have known after I fenced that stupid ring and discovered it was a fake... Worthless. All part of the guard's plan, I suppose. Okay, girls. We got someone who doesn't want to cooperate. I had a feeling you'd be surprised when you saw us in our real uniforms. I see you have a puzzled look on your face. Ask away. Gogan and I are really members of the Anvil City Watch. I suppose you could say we work undercover. 
We've been trying to foil Faustina's gang for months now. Every time we tried to interview a man who was lured there, they refused to talk. The women in the gang picked married men to seduce for just that reason. It was decided the only way to stop this gang was to send in a stranger. You fit the bill perfectly. It's a shame it had to end in so much violence. But someone was bound to get hurt sooner or later. We'll clean up the mess. Don't concern yourself about it. I'm sure you had no choice. If you ever find yourself back in Anvil, stop by any time and say hello. Oh, and please say nothing to anyone about our true identities. You've done well, and here's the reward that I promised. Don't spend all the money from the reward of...